The Warrens were a husband and wife team of paranormal investigators who gained fame for their work in demonology and the investigation of supernatural phenomena. Ed and Lorraine Warren were known for their involvement in some of the most famous cases of hauntings and demonic possessions and their work has inspired books, movies, and television shows. Here is an overview of the Warrens, their famous cases, and what drew them to pursue the paranormal. Ed Warren was a World War II veteran who had an interest in the paranormal from a young age. Lorraine Warren was a psychic medium who had a natural ability to communicate with spirits. The couple met in the 1940s and began investigating cases of hauntings and demonic possessions together. Lorraine Rita Morin was born in Bridgeport on January 31, 1927. She began having clairvoyant experiences as a child. She was 16 when she met Ed Warren. Some friends had taken her to the James Cagney movie and she was an usher at a theater. Soon, he was fighting in World War II. They married in 1945 when he was home on leave. Ed took art classes after the war and began selling his paintings on roadsides. He had grown up in a house that he believed was haunted and had began to merge his interests in the paranormal with his artistic abilities. When the couple would hear of a house that may be haunted, he would set up outside and paint it. Then he would give the painting to the homeowner. He would often end up getting a tour. The Warrens founded the Psychic Research Society in 1952 and began working on some of the most famous cases of supernatural phenomena. The Warrens were known for their expertise in demonology, which is the study of demons and demonic possession. They believed that demons were real entities that could possess people and cause harm. The Warrens claimed to have encountered hundreds of cases of demonic possession throughout their career and believed they had the duty to protect those who were affected by these supernatural forces. The Warrens were influential figures in the world of the paranormal investigation and demonology. While their methods and beliefs have been criticized by some, there is no denying the impact that they had on the field of paranormal investigation. Their work has inspired numerous books, movies, and television shows, and has helped to shape our understanding of the supernatural world. Among their investigations was a 1971 case involving a house said to be haunted in Rhode Island. It became the basis of the 2013 box office hit, The Conjuring, in which Vera Farmiga played Mrs. Warren and Patrick Wilson portrayed her husband, Ed Warren. Miss Warren herself had a small part as she had in The Haunted, a 1991 television movie based on a book by the Warrens and three other authors. Miss Farmiga and Mr. Wilson also portrayed the couple in The Conjuring 2 and in 2016, The Nun. The Warrens drew considerable publicity in 1981 for their involvement in a murder case in Connecticut which the defendant, Arnie Johnson, sought to argue that he had been possessed by the devil. The judge in the case disallowed the argument and Mr. Johnson was convicted of manslaughter. One of the Warrens' most famous cases was the Amityville Horror, which involved a family who claimed to be haunted by malevolent spirits in their home. In Amityville, on Long Island, made famous in the 1979 movie, The Amityville Horror, which spawned remakes sequels and prequels. A multiple murder had taken place in the Amityville house in 1974 and the family that moved in the next year, the Lutzes, reported a variety of disturbing sensations and incidents. They were said to have found evidence of troublesome occurrences on the grounds long before the murders. The Warrens believed that the suffering they had left behind on the property was very negative energy and had a dark history. The Psychic Research Society summary says, and I quote, such negative history was a magnet for demonic spirits and the prenatural. The Warrens investigated the case and claimed that it was caused by a demonic presence. The case was a subject of a best-selling book and a popular movie franchise. The case helped raise their profile as paranormal investigators but it also unsettled them, especially Miss Warren. Lorraine quoted, saying, The case itself has affected our personal lives, 
more than any other case we've ever worked on in 54 years of research, she told a website, MovieWeb, in 2005 when the remake of the movie was being released. The Warrens didn't charge for their investigations. They made their money from movie and television licensing rights, books, lectures, and tours of a modest museum of supernatural artifacts adjacent to their home in Monroe, North Bridgeport, Connecticut. They had, of course, many detractors. Lorraine and her husband were called frauds, saying that they were capitalizing on the completely merciless superstition which was all too common in modern society. And they were both the object of deep scrutinization, saying that their practices were fake. The Warrens were Roman Catholic, and Miss Warren said that it was her belief that a lack of religion was what often opened the door for malevolent forces to enter a home or life. Lorraine stated, when there's no religion, it is absolutely terrifying. That is your protection. God is your protection. It doesn't matter what your religion is. Another famous case was the Annabelle doll, which was said to be possessed by a demonic entity. The Warrens claimed to have investigated the doll and eventually took it in their possession for safekeeping. The case was the subject of a popular horror movie franchise. The original Conjuring film set in the early 1970s tells the tale of the Warren's dramatic rescue of a family residing in a Rhode Island farmhouse supposedly inhabited by the spirit of a long deceased witch. There is a dark side to the Warren's claims and currently there is a war over the conjuring this billion dollar franchise is being scrutinized. Per an article in The Hollywood Reporter, fans of the Conjuring horror movie franchise are familiar with the romantic tale of Ed and Lorraine Warren, the real-life married demonologists who claim their Catholic faith helped fend off evil forces. In the trailer for the first film, Warner Brothers' New Line Division sold the conjuring as based on a true story of the Warrens. But according to legal filings and recordings obtained by The Hollywood Reporter, it's possible that even the simple depiction of the Warrens as a devoted and pious couple may have stretched the truth past the breaking point. It appears that the top studio executives were made aware just a few weeks after the first film opened in 2013 of allegations that, in the early 1960s, Ed Warren initiated a relationship with an underage girl with Lorraine's knowledge. In the 70s, Judith Penny has said in a sworn declaration that she lived in the Warrens' house as Ed's lover for four decades. It is unclear whether Warner Brothers took any action in response to these allegations, but the sequel continued to portray them as a happy couple in a conventional marriage. Legal experts say that the Warrens and New Line did not necessarily do anything wrong by allowing so heavily a fictionalized portrayal of the Warrens relationship. At the end of each film, it stated, the Warrens include a standard disclaimer saying, and I quote, dialogue and certain events and characters contained in the film were created for the purpose of dramatization. Lorraine passed in 2019 in Monroe, Connecticut when she was 92. Lorraine's survivors included a daughter, Judy Sparrow. Lorraine often said that when investigating a house, she preferred to be allowed to roam freely and concentrate on the bedrooms. That is the easiest way to sit on the edge of the bed. You know, when you go to bed at night, how those things go through your mind, that's all recorded. You think these things out. What you've experienced, you go to bed and is played out for you again the moment between waking and sleep. Miss Warren claimed to be clairvoyant. Her husband, who died in 2006, called himself a demonologist. Lorraine Warren, who with her husband Ed, gained fame investigating haunted houses and other manifestations of the paranormal. They say that they had investigated countless paranormal occurrences over the years the Warrens were influential figures in the world of the paranormal investigation and demonology. While their methods and beliefs have been criticized by some, there is no denying the impact that they had on the field of paranormal investigation. Their work has inspired numerous books, movies, and television shows, and has helped to shape our understanding of the supernatural world.